ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Sean Canoy, uh, and let me just start off this video by saying sorry for taking so long to upload again. Um, I've been super busy, not only with school and track, but I've actually been looking for a new car, so I was looking at a 300ZX. Other than that, um, I just haven't had very many things to post, and because of that, I haven't posted. It's been a while since I uh, saw you guys last. Um, and the last clip, I was saying that I was going to look at a 1995 Nissan 300ZX. And, um, well, that didn't work out. But we went a different direction. So let's show you guys the new ride for the channel. So we got ourselves a 2005 Jeep Wrangler. So I still can't believe that I actually have this right now. Because I've always wanted a Jeep Wrangler. And... Here it is. So, a little bit about it. It is the Jeep Wrangler X Sport 2005. Um, it has the four liter straight six, which is a proven engine. It has a six speed manual, uh, aftermarket head unit. This came with a subwoofer box. And this is really cool. It looks like, I mean, it's custom made to fit perfectly in there. This was like a professionally done uh, install. So you got, I mean, they got the custom fitted box, the speakers on the bottom, it's two JBL speakers, or JL audio speakers. You got two Alpine head units, power cap, and everything looks wired pretty nicely. It has this board that everything's screwed into. So it's really cool because my, my subs in my silver car, which is still right over there, um, they are running this one, the same amp, on three 10 inch subwoofers. This has two 10 inch subwoofers with two amps. In the power cap so this is pretty powerful and i'm really happy that it came with it because my subs would not fit in this this is very small it only has eighty nine thousand miles on the car which is really low for a jeep like this and it's super clean so one of the first things i did is i switched out the, the wheels and tires um and i'll put a picture on the screen right here so those are what came with the jeep and yeah, it looks really good, it fits really well, but the tires, they weren't what I need. Um, they weren't balanced right, so at about 45, it, the steering wheel would shake, mud trains. So they're really loud, really noisy. And what I do over the summer is I travel to install pools, so I needed a less aggressive set of wheels. So I actually took the wheels and tires off of my Liberty and put them on here. And I mean, I still think it looks really good. I like the dark blue with the silver. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how everything is going. I do already have a few parts coming. I have uh, some mirrors for when the doors are off. I have foot pegs for when the doors are off. Yeah, we're still trying to, I'm still trying to think of things to get. Eventually I want to get tube doors. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Leave a like for this video because this is super cool for the channel. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a lot of videos on this. So get ready for that. It's going to be a great summer. We got a convertible. You take the doors off. I mean, it's going to be awesome. So leave a comment what you guys think I should do. And for this video, I actually want to detail the hood because, well, if you can't tell, it is not very clean. And you might be able to see there's a lot of swirls. So all those swirls, I'll be able to take out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you guys what it looks like. You saw what it looked like before, all the swirls. So I'm gonna do that, show you guys what it looks like. I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it's been about two hours and um, I finally finished all the detailing. I clay barred, compounded, polished, and waxed it. So it got everything. Um, and there's still a little bit of the swirls. You can still see some swirls because I'm not professional, but you can just tell how, you can tell how much clearer it is because you can see me. And I think it looks really good. So I'm gonna back it out and bring it into the sun and then show you how it looks there. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier in the video, I talked about I have some parts on the way already. So uh, here, they are both here. And uh, we have foot pegs and mirrors for the doors uh, when the doors are off. So let's get them unboxed and put them on. Right, so we got both the doors off already, as you can see. Here they are. And uh, I already unboxed everything. I'm gonna go ahead and get them all unwrapped and 
I'm just gonna put them on and then show you what it looks like. So, next clip, let's go see it. Oh, so we got the mirrors on. Here's how they look. I like how they look. They look really good. Now I can drive without the doors and be able to see behind me. Um, now the foot pegs, I got the wrong year on accident. I got 2007 to 2012 or whatever. So those didn't work, but we'll send them back. We'll get a new one and then we'll put them in maybe next video. So comment down below what you guys think I should do to it next. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. If, you, if any of you G people uh, want those mirrors, here's how they look again. Really clean, um, pretty low key. Uh, leave a link in the description to the Amazon link that I got them from and then you can pick them up there. Other than that, I'll see you guys in a few days and peace.